what comes to your mind when I say robot? Many think about this, this, or maybe this. What if I tell you that this, this, and this, these are the things that come to my mind when someone says robots. So let's dig into robots today. We often picture a human looking machine or close to it when we hear the word robot. Our society has strongly solidified this picture including many movies. Even if it's not required, we end up making some of the robots somehow looking like humans. For example, this is a security robot in our neighborhood. This is a helper robot from Seoul Airport in South Korea. And this is a restaurant helper robot. Although it's absolutely not required, they throw in a face to resemble humans. And this is part of solidifying the notion that robots are human-like. If they don't look similar to humans, we at least end up making them having some human-like features such as hands, legs or movements like humans. Factory robots is a good example. But let's look at the definition of a robot. According to Britannica, robot is any automatically operated machine that replaces human effort though it may not resemble human beings in appearance or perform functions in a human-like manner. Right there in the definition of a robot, that it doesn't have to look anything like a human and behave anything like humans. In fact, many robots look like various other animals. For example, this robot mimics a dog. This robot mimics a snake. This robot mimics a fish. They are not just mimicking the appearance of various animals and birds, but they mimic their functionality too. After all, these animals gave their features and skills over a long time through natural evolution, and it's simply wise to mimic their behavior where it helps us, of course. By the way, this phenomena of mimicking Animals and birds is called biomimicry. This is done on purpose. But robots do not need to look like any living things at all. A car is a robot. Remember, by definition of a robot, it's just supposed to replace human effort, which a car does. A washing machine, a dishwasher, a dryer, a blender, a toaster, they are all robots. I have done a separate video on this topic where I talk about the fact that trash trucks construction machines, traffic lights, and even earbuds are robots too. I recommend checking this out. But here is where it gets more interesting. So far, we looked at robots that we can touch and feel. But how about a computer program that replaces human effort? Can that be called a robot? Now, the case becomes even stronger, especially if it's artificially intelligent. For example, a chatbot replaces human effort. Translators replace human efforts. Video editors replace human efforts. Video recommenders on apps like YouTube replace human efforts. What it means is a robot doesn't have to be physical. It can be totally invisible as well. Hope we put robots in their perspective today. Next time with a different topic. Until then, stay safe.